The Flyers sweep the home and home against the Pittsburgh Penguins and win this game. Welcome into Post Game Live presented by Curato Insurance. Ashlyn Scott and Al here with you in studios. It was the third overtime game for the Flyers in a row. They are getting pretty good at this, Scott. I, I know. <laughs> this is totally different than a couple of years ago, the last few years, actually. But uh, are you not entertained? That was awesome. It had it all. The only thing it didn't have was a big brawl or a big fight uh, at center ice. But just the speed, the goaltending, the defensive play, uh, the block shots, so just the great eight chances on both teams. And uh, you got to tip your hat to Carter Hart and the, 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 the Delkovich, for that matter. <laughs> That's right. Well, I mean, it's another character win. I mean, this is another one. You, you, you stay in a game like this, it's close. It's, there's no nerve-wracking moments with great stars on the other side. You win it. City sports fan could use this. A couple of wins over Pittsburgh like this. So it's a real good feeling for a team that I think is less and less surprising as we go along. You just now become like yeah, we expect full 100% effort every night and a, and a real chance to win every game. Right, and it was a huge win just from the way the Flyers played, but Sean Walker, during the game, I interviewed him and he said, I didn't need to know about this rivalry because it's just such a well-known thing in hockey. And in college, they talk about program-building wins. This was huge for the Flyers are right now as a franchise. Yeah, what, what, 15 years ago, Crosby goes, I hate this team. I hate everything about this team. Uh, uh, he goes on and on, and, and the, uh, the feeling was mutual when you, when you line up against these guys, especially in playoffs. So yeah. fa absolutely fantastic. And just what an ending. Uh, you know, Coots doing that on the two-on-one. Absolutely perfect pass by TK. Oh, it's just terrific. And you go from the beginning, Crosby sets a record against the Flyers. And at the end, loses the face off to Kateri. Then a great goal going across. So a huge win for the Flyers. It was. And we got to talk about Carter Hart because he kept them in this game and basically won it for them as well. And Sam Harrison was perfect in a shootout just a couple of days ago. Carter Hart knew he had to play his A game against the Penguins. And that's exactly what he did. He, he was spectacular. When, when he needed to answer the bell, he was there for uh, big, sales, big saves throughout the whole game. It was, it was phenomenal just how, how in position he was, how there was you know, hardly any rebounds, and uh, I, I was just blown away, just both, just both goaltenders for that matter. Yeah, the previous game, as you mentioned before, is a little slow to start, and Penguins didn't bring much in the previous game. And this game, though, everybody was flying from the start of the game. So for the Flyers to come out of this, not just this game, but this stretch of games against the Metro that we're all looking at. It's like they're still right there. They ain't going away. Yeah, especially how they ended that streak, right? Because it was a little up and down. Yeah. Now to get these two huge wins at the end is so big for the Flyers. And that leads us to our PA Lottery winning moment of the game. It is, of course, Sean Couturier, that overtime winner. Scott, you mentioned it. Travis Konechny, he was all over the ice, and this play does not happen without TK. He was buzzing, right? Uh, they knew that Pittsburgh was going to be aggressive off that forecheck, so he just takes off after a clean win. And how about the two assists TK had? Both wow. saucer passes, both landing almost right on the blade as they shoot it. Uh, Tyson Forrester was a beauty in the second period. And this one, just uh, uh, to see the toothless grin after, after he snipes <laughs> this one is incredible. Yeah, really. And Couturier to win down the other end, come all the way back here to kind of... And he's had such great games against Pittsburgh to come in and, and have this come back. And you see him coming back and you're right, connecting, beautiful pass, set it up. And I love the emotion afterwards. I mean, this is, this is how much this means right now to, to get a couple of wins like this. You, you think in a moment like that, they miss Couturier the oh, last couple really? years, right? Winning the face off, you know, tired as heck, just being out there battling the whole game and then sniping that one. It's absolutely incredible for Coots. Right, and it's kind of a perfect picture of where the Flyers are right now because you kind of get a little bit of everything. You get Sean Couturier, who's been here so long, gets his winning moment, but then you get a guy like Tyson Forster, the future of the Flyers. Now with three games of three straight goals, it's kind of like the Flyers are in a good place with the old and the young. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, and he's getting hot now. When he's on the ice, even the limited power play time they had tonight, you, you look at him and say, that's a possibility right there. He's got that shot. So there's a, it's a nice doing two things at once here. It's pretty cool to see the, the giving some responsibility to the kids. But even on the fourth, it was Couturier that drove the net on the goal. So he's a big part of that, too. Yes, he was. Let's now go back to the broadcast booth and say hello to JJ and Bush and get their thoughts on this big game winning moment for the Flyers. And I got to ask you guys about Carter Hart. We talked about it. He had to be basically perfect against this Penguins team who was really looking for a win. And he basically was tonight. Absolutely was. So often in a game like this, Ashlyn, where we're talking about the heroes, of course, in overtime and some of the plays made during the, the regulation time uh, by forwards and defensemen. But without the goaltending of Carter Hart, there are no heroics from Sean Couturier and the rest of them in overtime. He was tremendous. The timing of his saves, I think, most importantly tonight, Bush. Yeah, and, you know, the one thing that uh, with goaltending is when, when you have another guy that can do a job for you and win your hockey games, it allows you to get proper rest 
And I know Carter wanted to play on Saturday in Pittsburgh, but sometimes that rest is valuable. And I think that rest served him well here tonight. I thought he was awfully sharp. He had terrific energy throughout the game. And he, as you mentioned, he made timely saves. A big reason why the Flyers were able to win this game because of how sharp Hart was. And I, and I think when you got two guys that can play and you can trust both guys, now you can give a little bit of rest to, to, to Hart, make sure that he gives you quality starts. And uh, that's what we're starting to see here from the Flyers net mining. Uh, terrific in the last two games and Hart exceptional here tonight. The, the biggest question, Mark, I think for the Flyers, uh, not for me, but I think just in general from uh, all the experts, was the Flyers' defense. Uh, you know, it's how good has Sanheim been? Uh, Cam York's come along qu uh, quite a bit as well. Uh, the surprise of Sean Walker. Just, just talk about the, the Flyers' D Corps and how they're doing. And is it coaching? Is it Bradshaw? What do you guys think? Uh, what, what's been so, working so well for the Flyers' defense? To me, there's no doubt that Bradshaw's had a huge uh, <laughs> stamp on this right now. Um, but guys have a lot to play for as well. Yes, yeah, Sanheim came in, we talked about it at the start of the year, uh, a little heavier, better in better shape, uh, had a chip on his shoulder, and that play's carried through. York has taken another step in his game. But to me, the, the two biggest surprises on the back end are Nick Sealer and Sean Walker. To me, these guys have been exceptional. Uh, in the way that they've played and they've really steadied the back end even when they've had injuries to to got to older guys like stall and wrist and those two guys stepped up to to really solidify the top four you can't say enough about this back end i know that we give up goals at times because Torts wants these guys to be on their toes and play aggressive in it and there's going to be times where you give up something but overall hartsy i think this back end has been uh terrific all year long it really, you know what? How about Ristolainen, who missed a lot of time? He's come in. He's played really well in the short time he's yeah. had too. So all of a sudden, there's some veteran depth there as well. So, uh, yeah, it's been very impressive. You're right. The ex you're an expert, Hartsy. Don't don't cut yourself short. You're, <laughs> well, you're an thank expert. You. That's a, a, a very kind of, experts, of you to say that. <laughs> the experts did. They said there was just not enough defense here, and uh, the Flyers have really uh, overperformed there, which is really good. So, guys, coming into this season, one of the big pluses was supposed to be Couturier Atkinson coming back. It's been a little up and down with each guy coming back from injury, but do you see Couturier kind of uh, getting his game more level now, strengthening his game, especially, he usually does it against the Penguins. Yeah, I think he gets up for these games. He's been part of this rivalry long enough, Al, that uh, there's a little extra juice going for, for the Penguins. But I, I will say this, he's, uh, he's, to me, looked great. John Torella has said in a couple press conferences that, you know, he's not quite there yet. And Coots will tell you he's not quite there yet because he's a perfectionist. I mean, when he's playing well, he basically doesn't make any mistakes at all. You'll see one or two here or there. But I think slowly but surely Bushy's getting there. I, I do, too. I mean, I think initially maybe there was some rust in his game. His hands maybe weren't where he wanted them to be. I'm sure the rigors of playing uh, night after night, your body gets sore, not just the back. I mean, everywhere. As you start to get over 30 years old, I mean, it can be difficult to recover night in and night out and he's got to get used to that I mean you know when your body takes a beating how do you how do you prepare for the next night uh, can you recover in the, in the way that you used to I think we're all getting used to it for Sean Couturier I, th I think his game has been there he's never been the most fleet of foot skater so that to me is not something that I judge him on I judge him on uh, when he's in key situations can he find a way to get the job done tonight huge face off win they go the other way in the finish you can see that uh, his hands are starting to come back he gets the feed and buries it perfectly, passing Dalkovic for the win. A huge win for the Flyers. Boost JJ, thanks so much. We will talk to you on Thursday in Arizona. And we got to talk about as well Travis Konechny. He was all over the ice night, and a particular shift in overtime really wore out the Penguins, and it ended up being in the overtime winner. He, he's got the speed, he's got the hands, uh, his uh, back pressure, the tenacity that he has on the puck, and a smart job there wow. waiting to stay onside. And uh, just, just some great work by TK. Yeah, and the energy that he gives you, and he drives the other, uh, he drives the opponent crazy with the energy too. Takes people out of position, chasing him around. So as much as it's him with the energy bringing it offensively, he forces other players out of position to try to chase him around or behind the net here. He's just a little water bug back yeah. there, just doesn't stop. But he's on ice, people. It's not on the water. Uh, just how he's just, uh, just kind of almost doesn't run out of energy, right? And uh, setting up there, trying to make a play, and uh, you know, Torres loves that. And then what does he do? He puts him out almost. Yep like a half a minute later, a minute later, uh, and they end up uh, scoring. Yes, it is pretty impressive, Travis Konechny's energy. And now let's go back to JJ and Bouche, who are with Sean Couturier. So you're looking at Sean Couturier, the hero in overtime for the Flyers. Coots, uh, as we mentioned on the air, your second overtime game winner. 
the first one against Vegas, yes, exciting, but maybe not quite as you drew it up. This one, I think it's exactly what you guys were talking about right before the face-off. You drew it up and you executed the plan. Yeah, yeah, it, uh, everything worked out perfectly there. Um, you know, Sandy did a great rim there, and uh, it's a nice two-on-one. TK did an unbelievable pass, and I just shot it as hard as I could. Kutz, uh, what does these two wins against Pittsburgh do for your club? I mean, it was a, an important stretch of divisional games. You were below 500 going into the last two. You win these games against Pittsburgh. What does it do for your confidence at this point in the season? Uh, I think it's huge. Um, you know, I think all year we've had uh, some good confidence. We've been a confident team, uh, but we know these, uh, these these divisional games are, are huge on the road. So uh, these are these are big points that. Uh, you know, we uh, we took from them, so uh, you know it's uh, it's good, and we got to build on this and go into this road trip uh, with the same same mindset. Coach, last year and certainly early this year, the team involved in a lot of close games, and uh, the other team would make the key play and win the game either late in the third or in overtime of the shootout. Lately, you guys have been winning those games. Is that something where you build confidence in those scenarios? Yeah, well, I think as we as we grow here, I think we're 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 getting more comfortable playing these kinds of games. Uh, I think I think we got more mature in in in, uh, in managing the game and and picking our spots when to uh, to push and kind of just uh, you know sit back and 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 force them to to make mistakes. So um, you know we're still we're still learning, we're still growing, but uh, it's encouraging to see that we're we're maturing as a team. One area where there's been growth on this team, Coots, has been a penalty kill. It, it's been a story for this team so far. What do you sense as being the difference in this year's penalty kill versus maybe last year in the in you know in year priors? Yeah, I think it's it's been huge. Uh, you know, special teams are are huge in this league. Uh, you know, you can win games with the power play and lose them with the with the penalty kill. And you know, right now we're we're giving ourselves a chance uh, to be in every game with uh, with with some big kills and. Um, I don't know. Guys are just. Uh, I think we're, we're we're more used to playing this kind of you know PK, and guys are starting to you know uh, get more chemistry and be in the right lanes and trusting each other. And um, you know, obviously too, it, it helps when you get a couple short-handed goals. I think it puts the uh, the other team on on their on their heels. So uh, we just got to build on this and, and keep going. It's been very impressive. Good final question quickly. Uh, you know, you had the back surgeries, of course, and you come into the season. Now you're well into the season, well over 20 games in. How are you feeling? Is everything where you want it to be physically? Yeah, physically, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, you know, it's behind me now, and I can just focus on uh, my everyday uh, business and, um, you know, just still trying to get my, uh, you know, my timing and, and everything going. But, uh, you know, I think every every game, every week, I'm starting to feel more and more comfortable, so it's, uh, it's encouraging. All right, Sean, thanks very much for taking time out to talk with us. Congrats on the win and the goal. Thank you. Sean Couture with the game-winning goal in overtime. Stay with us post-game live presented by Curado Insurance. Talking Travis Sanheim and Tyson Forrester.